Good morning, everyone. It's Joel with One Great Vacation. We are at the Metro Drop here in Virginia. We are headed to the Smithsonian's today. It's going to be a glorious day. We've got a little bit of rain coming down, so we may look like mud pies for this is all over. But we've got umbrellas, and we're headed out. Not in a little water going to stop a vacation. We are at the Smithsonian Metro stop. All underground. This is basically what all of them look like, although this is a big one. back to the mall okay so we came up on this run I think it's police awareness maybe or but look at them they it, it looks like they're running in a circle or something I'm not exactly sure what's going on there oh helicopter over the castle So this is actually the tomb of Mr. Smithson, who is the founder of the Smithsonian Institute. He died in Italy in 1829, and they were brought to here. These are his actual remains inside the castle. First stop of the day is the Air and Space Museum. We got a large crowd outside. I assume that they are checking bags is why everybody is slow. Special travel tip of the day, if you're going to the museums, don't wear backpacks. And there goes my wife with a backpack on. Uh, you will be frisked at every door, so it does slow everything down. Yesterday we didn't take backpacks, but today it is raining and we needed a place to put umbrellas, so we had to take a backpack. But on the whole, I would suggest no backpacks while you're visiting the museum. We are in the Air and Space Museum. That's not something you see every day. Lunar Module LM2. Unbelievable. That may be the biggest touch screen I've ever seen. Okay, everybody's seen a plane hanging from the ceiling, but the sheer number of planes hanging from the ceiling in this is crazy. Look at that. This is the early flight exhibit. More airplanes hanging from the ceiling. This is the Wright Brothers plane right over my head right here. Found the rockets. Look at this. Pretty cool. Pretty good. There, I was again, on a very cold, long December morning so many years ago. It is the December actual 1903, it's December 14th. They're ready to fly this machine. They do what they've done a billion times, all the time. You and your buddy. Good shot of the Capitol building here. A little zooming in for you. Not bad. So this is an optical illusion we're looking at in the gallery of yeah, yeah, art garden here. That looks like a 3D house, but I'm fixing to show you differently. This is what it looks like from the side. 
<laughs> is that crazy or what? It's not even really a square. And then of course you've got a stainless steel tree. That's awesome too, by the way. We have made it to the uh, Museum of Natural Science. They have this elephant in the uh, center of the foreground. All right, we're in the Hall of Mammals. There's Simba. <laughs> so this is the special exhibit while we're here. This is the Narwhal exhibit. Reminds me of the Whale Museum on San Juan Island. All right, this is the lobby of the museum. It is one crowded place to be today. Now we're on top of the elephant, but look at all the people. Want to guess what this is? Besides very crowded? Yeah, I'm not even sure I'm going to get up there close enough for you to see it, but this is the Hope Diamond. Okay guys, the good news is we made it to the Museum of Natural, uh, how about the Museum of American History? The bad news is there's a little bit of a line right now. Doesn't look like we're gonna get in. The museum closes in two hours and that's at least 30, 40 minute line. So we're not even gonna try. We are going back to Old Town, Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, we're gonna look at the sites there instead of here. Right, everybody we're on King Street this is the main thoroughfare here in Old Town in Virginia all the shops line the roads Old Town Alexandria we're on the square they're doing a little remodeling here that's a pretty church right behind it you haven't seen that this is the fountain out in front of the square that's a huge flag standing there this is the street behind us you see it's got some quaint little stores, most of it high priced. We're looking for some supper. So far, not so much. Okay, everybody, we made it to the waterfront. Some local dining and stuff here. Most of it's pretty high priced. The torpedo factory is interesting, which is this building right here. Uh, here, artists can rent lofts or rent space and you can walk through and like each room is a different artist's room where they display some of their art it's a very interesting concept down here they have old towns uh, shopping it's kind of like an open door mall and then all of this is restaurants end of the night we're back at the hotel it's been a long day tomorrow we head out of D.C. and on to other adventures. <laughs>